Hi there! This video is part of Lesson 5 of my online course Mastering Oil Color Mixing that will launch in 2017. This lesson is about the effect of a lean model in the drying time of an oil paint. This model is related to the drying rate of your oil paints and how that influences the layering process of your painting. If you would like to learn more about that, stay tuned. Paints have different drying times. It's usually determined by five factors. The amount of oil in the tube. The more oily the paint, the slower it is to get that dried. Some oil paint brands will be more oily than others. So that means that these pigments will take longer to dry compared to less oily paints. The second factor is the nature of the pigment and the chemicals in it. For instance, Prussian blue and earth colors such as ambers and ochres tend to dry fast, while titanium white dries much slower. Alkyd paints have a modifier that makes them dry faster than traditional oils. The next factor is the temperature of the environment. Colors tend to dry more quickly in warmer temperatures. The paint drying time it slows down in cooler seasons and cooler rooms. The medians, oils and solvents that you add to your oil paint will also affect its drying time. For example, if you use a liquid made by Winsor & Newton or solvents, your paint will dry faster than if you use just the paint as it is. Liquid is a lean medium, solvents too. But if you add oils like linseed oil, poppy oil, safflower oil or a fat painting medium, the paint will dry much slower than usually as it makes the paint fatter, more oily. Another thing that will affect the drying rate of your paint is how thick or how thin the paint is applied on the surface. Any color applied more thickly will dry slower than if it is thinned or brushed out on a canvas. So it's important to take into consideration the drying times of your colors as part of the overall layering structure of your painting. And that's because there is a basic rule in oil painting called fat over lean. It says that we must paint fat layers over lean layers. It means that slow drying layers like thick or more oily paint should go over thin or less oily paint as thin will dry faster. But why should I listen to that? At the beginning of the invention of the oil paint, the old masters had a few issues with this layering process and they learned how to resolve this sort of problems as they mastered this medium. So they created the fat of a lean model and passed that on to the following generations. But why that? Why should I paint fat of a lean? That's because oil paints dry by oxidation. They absorb oxygen which makes them harden and eventually dry. More oily or thicker paint needs to absorb more oxygen to dry than less oily or thinner paint. Also, top layers tend to absorb more oxygen than lower layers, as they are in direct contact with the air. So having more fat moisture on the top layers will make them dry slower than the under layers. But what happens if I paint lean over fat? Well, oil paint is a living medium. It can take months or years to dry thoroughly. So if I put a fat or more oily layer first, they will take much longer to dry as the air can't get in as easily. So the top layer drying faster than others means that it won't have enough moisture and flexibility to follow the expanding and contracting movement of the under layer. So therefore the paint film might crack in the early years of your painting and that will end up compromising the longevity of your artwork. I truly believe that we can learn and benefit a lot from the old master's experiences and discoveries and bring it into our contemporary work to create art that will last. There is a lot to consider when working with oils and mediums. Things about consistency, quantity to be added and how to manipulate it. 
If you would like to learn more about the Mastery Oil Color Mixing program, click the link below in the description area. There is also a free download there, which is a roadmap to color theory that I created for my course so that you can get started understanding the main aspects of color. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe below for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.